All right, so we're back here at the Mecca. Checking out our power plant. A lot of spots in here. I uh, kind of put my boot up for a reference. Here, I'll do it again. I took some pictures. But just stick my boot kind of in here in the middle. I mean, it's definitely up over the boot. So there's a couple spots in here I'd say are... 18 20 inches tall not quite two foot getting all sorts of browse pressure sorry camera gets a little shaky i'm trying to put on my boot you can definitely see it's getting some browse pressure but it's growing really really well given the circumstances and all of that but i'm pretty impressed here's the blind all finished up <clears throat> These are just big, heavy milled trash bags that I glued over it. Like I said, it's got a gabled roof. And then a PVC pipe with a wire meshing around it. Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> Alright, we'll take a little gander down through here. So, this is our concealment line, kind of blocking the blind. These shady spots, I don't know, are maybe about a foot tall, a little over a foot tall. Getting some pretty heavy browse pressure, but that's alright. These beans and peas and all that are doing really well. Sunflower there nipped off. And then you get down here where it's a little bit sunnier, get some better sun, and definitely gets a lot taller. We got some weeds going on out here in the old easement. Need to do some mowing, but when you get to looking down in here, man, there's all kinds of clover, natural browse going on. Bunch of buckwheat, some of these cool season grasses here. A lot of the buckwheat, honestly, has been nipped off and eaten. So you can see some in here. And it's at kind of that dough stage where you barely touch it and it just crimps right over. So, I don't know, we'll have to see about maybe coming in here, terminating it, and getting ready for a fall blend here before too long. Got some rains coming in. There's an egg of some sort, it looks like. See, buckwheat's just kind of dying out. We got some rain last night. Rain gauge says that we have three inches. So I know in the last month or so, we've at least gotten three inches of cumulative. Got our trophy rock over here, but all in all, pretty pleased with the with the power plant results. Going to head to the lima bean, our little food plot we call lima bean next. This blind will conceal in really well as the summer months keep going on, and this just all keeps filling out in here. But yeah. Seems to be doing pretty well. Alright, so we're down here in our food plot on the interior of our woods that we call uh, the lima bean. It's in the shape of a lima bean. So as you can see, everything's doing pretty darn well in here. Um, I'm down here today, I'm going to do some clearing out over here on the south side. Get some more light in here. They've been getting plenty of rain. It's pretty soft in here. So I could only imagine the growth. If it was getting. There goes a, a skink. Depending how I could only imagine the growth. That it would really be getting. If it had more optimal sun. In here. So uh, anyhow that's what I'm going to do. Open the canopy up a little bit. And. Um, pull my cards. 
I'll have a little video coming after this one showing you what all is on the camera. But yeah, everything in here is well over two foot tall. Probably doesn't do it much justice from the camera here, but kind of over here next to these that stump, you can really tell how tall it is. That's probably a two and a half foot tall stump. You got beans and peas kind of growing up beside it and around it, but yeah, I feel like we get some good sun in here, and uh, this stuff will start getting a lot thicker, not be so airy and tall, lanky plants, and start getting a little more bushier, so. Anyhow, I'm going to check this camera right over here. Bam. Got our mineral block. This was like a... I don't know, one of the heavier, I think it was like a 14 pound mineral block. You can see she's only down to maybe about a pound and a half. So they've really been tearing it up. Got this community licking branch here too, right next to it. You'll see, or what we've seen in a bunch of our pictures. Um, I don't know if you can tell, see how there's no bark up here? Like they've literally been licking it off and munching on this little bit of twigs growing here but uh what we've been noticing is them rubbing their heads on it and so anyhow hopefully that'll be a good uh staging point this mineral will be gone by the time deer season gets here this is kind of their trail coming out of their cover come right down this trail Hit this staging point where the mineral used to be. They got this licking branch, limb, whatever you want to call it. And then that puts you into about a 40-yard shot right here. My wife and son are getting ready to walk past. We got a buddy stand up in there. And so this kind of staging point. And uh, hopefully, you know, they kind of follow this trail going down. Or they can follow the trail going out here. Both give, oh, well, sorry, over here behind the four wheeler. They both give you good broadside shots to the buddy stand up here. So, yeah. This is kind of what we're drawing up. And the sun hemp in here and the sunflowers, you know, they supposed, they're supposed to get five, six, seven feet tall. Then you get the vining peas growing up on it. And then the beans are supposed to kind of bush out around the bottom give you like three different layers so that's the key today open up some of this south get it a lot fuller in here and uh yeah hopefully kill a nice big old buck from that buddy stand over there well hopefully if you haven't by now you've hit that subscribe button uh hit the like button as well share with your friends 